So here I am doing an unboxing video because the wonderful people at Action for Swift have sent me some of their Swift boxes. So in here are some of the best Swift boxes on the market and especially the Swift brick. I'm gonna open up this parcel, see what I've got and talk you through it. So I'm gonna move this box to one side. Look at that lot. And then we can get in there. So let's have a look at this one. This is really light. Look at that. Ah, this is the soffit box. This one. Take a look at that. So, the soffit box. Now, this is really lightweight. Now, Swift absolutely love nesting in soffits. And this, bo this box has been designed to fit within a soffit. So I'll show you just here on the screen. Look at that. So what you do is with this box here, we're going to be installing this in the soffit face down. And now what happens is, you have to drill a hole in the soffit. Um, that needs to be about 66 millimeters by 30 millimeters. And the, this, this circular bit here basically acts as a nest cup when it's upturned like that. So you're gonna have the hole in the soffit entrance there, the swift will go in there and use this circular section as a nest cup because nest cups are really important for swifts because they often have a problem where their eggs roll and they can't incubate them properly. And they can also roll and end up falling out of the nest hole. So it's good to provide a nest cup and Action for Swift have got nest cups in all their boxes, which is brilliant. So yeah, that's a brilliant box. So lightweight and easy. So if you're ever re-roofing a roof or redoing the soffit, a soffit box is absolutely perfect and a really discreet way of doing it. And this box will stop wildlife getting any further from the soffit into your house it will keep it contained and as i say swift love nesting in soffits it's within their instinct to fly up like that cool so a soffit box now let's get on to the next one we're gonna go for the big one right here ba boom look at this so here we've got the polymer swift box this weighs about 1.5 kilograms. So when I've been high up the ladders installing nest boxes, weight is a concern to me, carrying the boxes up. This weighs 1.5 kilograms and it's made from fully recyclable polymer. This will last a very long time. And something quite interesting about this box is just in here, we've actually got a uh, rigid foam insulation on the top. So that helps to keep the heat out of the box. Now it's still good practice not to install nest boxes in direct sunlight, but a layer of insulation on the top will really help. And then just inside, we've got a nest cup in there as well. Look at that. So this is absolutely excellent. This is gonna be really easy to install. I mean, they've really thought about it. You've got a fixing hole there and a fixing hole there. And it's gonna be very easy to take up the ladders with you and screw to it. And it's gonna last a long time. And these are available in a few different colors as well. And what's quite a concern about installing swift nest boxes is they're very often up really high. They're inaccessible. Sometimes they're on commercial buildings. Sometimes they're on listed buildings. We want them to stay up there and last a lifetime. And products like this will last a very, very long time because if we were to install wooden ones, they've only got a short lifespan. So yeah, this is an absolutely brilliant polymer Swift box. Let's move away on to the next one. Right, in here we've got a Swift brick. Now lots of people have heard about Swift bricks but never seen them. Now you're gonna see one. These are absolutely brilliant for new building sites. They can be laid simply by the bricklayer. Now this one here in particular has got the EML on it, the expandable metal lav, and that has been designed for going into a building and getting rendered um, because the render will stick to that bit and it will blend in. All it will be on show is this little hole here. So let's get my trusty brick. That. Oh, that's a joke brick. It's just about the, the width of a brick, allowing for a mortar joint either end. So that's going to be really easy for bricklayers to install. Look at that, isn't that absolutely brilliant? It is so simple as well. A little Swift brick to go in when you're rendering. So there's that one. There's lots of different types of Swift bricks on the Action for Swift's webpage and they are the go-to boxes for me who I recommend to people, especially in commercial situations. Did you know Swift can enter its nest hole at 40 miles an hour? Isn't that amazing? And the hole size is really important because we don't want other birds getting in, we just want Swifts getting in. And you can see it's designed that oval shape so the bird can tuck its wings up and fly straight into the hole. And the feet on a Swift are pretty useless. Um, they don't have thumbs either. The Latin for Swift is apus apus, meaning no thumb, no thumb. So they literally 
bomb into these holes at top speed and then clamber around inside. They're fascinating to watch. Swifts are bonkers. So yeah, this box is slightly longer because it gives the bird more space. It takes up one and a half bricks. Look at that. So you can get that laid and you can get them color match as well. So you'd easily better get that laid for a brick and a half. Um, so it's nice and easy for the bricklayers to lay and it doesn't breach the cavity so much because it's deeper. So when they've gone shallower, they've therefore gone wider. Whereas this one's gone deeper, but it's, it's able to keep it um, narrower, but it's had to go deeper that way to give the Swifts enough room. Swift will, Swiftlets, Baby Swift will do press ups within the box um, to build up their wing strength before fledging. So it's really important they've got a bit of room in there as well. So yeah, look at that one, a brick and a half and they can easily be built in. Isn't that brilliant? And there's a nest cup in there as well. So they've written top on the top of the box so you know which way it goes up. The same with this one. They've both got their nest cups in them and it's really important to put them top. Now I've seen a few jobs where swift bricks have gone in but there hasn't been any guidance and they've put them in that way round. That's the wrong way. They're supposed to go that way around. So there you go, yeah. So I'm gonna be doing a lot more on these Swift boxes. I've got some exciting projects coming up and more so when Swift Awareness Week comes next year, I'm gonna be talking about these boxes a bit more. And I do talks on Swift as well. So I'm gonna be taking these boxes with me to explain on the talk. So yeah, here we go. We've got the soffit box, the two Swift bricks, and we've got the polymer box. And I'll stick all these details in the description so you can head to the website and check them out for yourself and expect more from me on these products. And I'm gonna get some video of these things being installed at some point as well. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that unboxing video. Get wild.